Eagle, you're looking great. Coming up nine minutes. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. This is footage from inside the Apollo 11 lander during its descent to the surface of the moon. This film, looking out through the lander's window, is the only footage we have of that historic landing. But it's hard to get a sense of scale when watching this footage. Are the craters we're seeing a few feet across or a few miles across? It's only at the last minute, just before the lander touches down, that we get any sense of how far away the ground is. So, in this video, we'll watch the landing from the ground. With the use of CGI and some data about the approach path, we're going to watch Neil Armstrong touch down from the surface of the moon. To do this, I built a 3D scene of the landing ground. I used Google Moon to zoom into the Apollo 11 landing site. The image is quite detailed and shows the craters surrounding the touchdown point. I use this to build a 3D model of the area and then use position and height data to animate the lander's movement. The lander's still about 500 meters off. Since it's approaching us from directly sunwards, we can't really see it yet, but it's approaching us quickly, so it won't be long before it comes into view. We're at T minus three minutes to touchdown, and the lander's gradually approaching the original chosen landing spot. As the lander gets lower and the landing spot comes into view, Armstrong and Aldrin don't like what they see. The ground is uneven and is strewn with boulders the size of cars, so if they try to land there, the lander might tip over. That would be disastrous, so even though fuel's getting lower, Armstrong has taken over manual control and is choosing a new spot further down range. T minus two minutes and the lander is now visible through the glare of the sun. It's 330 meters away and 90 meters up. I'll put the distance and height in feet up on the right and in meters up on the left. Armstrong has noticed that the ground over here is a lot more even and there are no large boulders strewn around, so he's already chosen this as his new landing spot. His fuel's getting low though, so if this site doesn't work out, he'll have to abort the mission. You can see the main engine exhaust below the lander. The smaller jets of gas are the attitude control thrusters, which control the lander's rotation. T minus one minute. After dropping from an orbital speed of 6,000 kilometers per hour, the lander is now almost at a hover. In these final few moments, Armstrong will have to maneuver the lander to a safe landing spot between these craters. Fuel's getting low though, so he's got to get it on the ground before it runs out. He's currently a bit short of his chosen landing spot, so he pitches the Eagle forward to move towards it and then pitches back to shave off the remaining speed. And now, with fuel getting critical, he's got to set it down. If he takes too long and gets too low on fuel, he'll have to abort the mission. But if he puts that lander down too hard, it's game over. After shutting down the engine, Armstrong sends Houston his historic announcement. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. The crew now have lots of work to do, shutting down the lander's systems and getting ready for their activities on the ground. And it'll be almost six hours before Neil Armstrong emerges from that hatch and steps down onto the surface of the moon. But that's a subject for another video. That's all for this one, but I'm going to replay the last minute of the landing, but this time I'll shut up and I'll let you listen to the radio chatter between Armstrong and Houston Control. See you next time. Hundred feet, three and a half down, nine forward. 
Five percent. How many bites? Hey, 75 feet. That's looking good. Down a half. Six forward. 60 seconds. Bites on. Six. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. That's 40 feet down two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Great shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. Ready? Down and a half. Thirty seconds. Forward. Just. Good. Ready? Contact light. Okay. Engine stop. APA at a descent. Auto descent. control both. Auto descent. Engine command override off. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot.